Hello and welcome to this video. Here you see a Euro cylinder of brand ASEC that was kindly sent to me by Pigbird. But originally this lock comes from Pete Restall and he named it The Good. In contrast to other locks that he made, and I have two of them, which are named The Bad and The Ugly and which are challenge locks. So this lock here is an unmodified full Euro cylinder with a cam mechanism still in working order. And therefore I will take the chance to inspect this mechanism for you. Because it's uh, important to know how it works, as if in reality uh, you want to pick open a lock in order to get a door unlocked, you not only need to cause the plug to turn, but in fact you need to cause the cam to turn to get the door unlocked. So let's have a look how this works or how this behaves. Let's assume this is the outside part and this is the inside part and when I use a key um, to turn the plug on the outside it takes along the cam. So now the right, right hand side plug interacts with the cam and turns the cam. Same on the inside, when I now insert the key on the inside this plug interacts now with the cam and takes along the cam and I can open or close the door. <clears throat> but what do you think will happen when I now insert uh, this key on the outside as well? So while the inside key is still uh, in the lock? Let's find out. It stops here, so it doesn't want to go all the way in and of course the plug doesn't turn. But now when I turn the key to the perfect uh, vertical orientation, not perfect. You've seen I can now uh, move in the outside key and the inside key goes out a little bit. And now the cam is interacting with the right hand side plug and turns along when I turn the key. So it just looks like that the key doesn't have enough uh, space in the in the keyway when the other key is inserted and for testing what happens when the key is a little bit shorter I've made um, I've modified the third key that came along with this lock and I filed away the tip so you can see it's uh, a bit shorter same situation as before the inside key is uh, inserted and turned and now let's see the outside key goes in all the way and what do you think now will happen when I turn the key? Let's find out. The plug just spins freely but without interacting with the cam. So this might be the situation when we uh, pick this side while the other side has still inserted a key. Um, with just turning around the plug we will not be able to open the door because the cam just doesn't because the cam just doesn't turn. And there's another interesting property. Um, when there is no key on the inside and if we uh, pick this side or insert the uh, shortened key, now the cam doesn't turn. Let's turn it this way. Cam doesn't turn. Let's turn it that way. And now the cam turns. So there is something inside um, that interacts with the tip that interacts with the tip of the key and activates the cam so that the cam turns along with the uh, turning of the uh, respective plug. Okay, so now let's move on to picking. I want to simulate the situation where on the inside there is a key inserted and turned. I will now pick um, the outside part and uh, we will find out what to do in order to get the cam turned and uh, in order to get the key uh, to get the, <laughs> to get the uh, door open. Hold on. So the lock is clamped in a vise. Inside part has the key inserted and the key is turned. And before I pick the outside, I want to show you again the great bidding on this key. Two long key pins in the front and shorter key pins in the back. Very nice. All right, I use. Um, uh, homemade tension wire to tension the plug and I turn it counterclockwise 
just like I would try to open the door with a key. All right. Use this uh, shallow sparrow's hook, the beginning of the picking, and change picks later on. Okay, turned, got a nice false set. And no feedback anymore. Uh, change picks to a deeper hook, also from sparrows. open. Alright, so now uh, the plug turns on the outside but the cam uh, does not take uh, come along, does not take, uh, does not turn along. Um, so with just turning the plug we, you will not be able to open the door. Um, we've already seen that the tip of the key uh, is important. So what will happen when I stick in something in the keyway, which is just uh, as long as the key, or even a little bit longer? So sometimes the cam moves a little bit, but it's uh, not really reliable. I think it's not appropriate to uh, open the, the door with that, because you need to apply a little bit of force in order to get the mechanism um, to work that uh, locks the door. So this is not um, a working method, but I can use something even longer that goes all the way in the keyway and can directly interact with the cam. Let's try that. all the way in. And now when I turn the plug, ah, I can do it just like so. You can see now the plug turns and takes along the cam. So that's necessary in order to get the door unlocked. When you have a full Euro cylinder of this kind, you not only need to uh, pick the, the lock and turn the plug, you will also uh, need to uh, yeah, interact with the cam and turn the cam. All right, so now uh, let me take this lock apart and we'll have a look inside. So here is the Euro cylinder completely taken apart and you can see all the guts. But before I show you the cam mechanism, I will give you a quick look to the pins. Nothing really uh, special here. This is one side of the lock and this is the other side. We can see all the key pins are standard pins and the drivers are um, spools in 2 through 5 and a standard in 1. The spools were effective only in 3 and 4 because of the bidding. Now let's inspect the cam mechanism. I take away the right hand side because it's uh, 
sufficient to inspect one plug and the mechanism. We can see there is the plug, there is the cam and there is something I call the actuator. Not sure if this is the right name. Um, it consists and consists of two parts that can freely move against each other and every one, every part has two, uh, two pieces, two, two noses. Um, when I move together the plug and the cam, you can see the plug turns but the cam um, stays where it is so it doesn't, uh, doesn't interact with each other. And even when I insert the key, you can see how the uh, tip of the key sticks out a little bit. Even if I do so, you can see they still do not interact. But now this actuator comes into play, it goes in like so. And if I push it in all the way, you can see the key moves out a bit. And that's the situation where the key is inserted from the other side and the other plug can turn uh, and doesn't uh, interfere with, with this plug where uh, no key is inserted and where the uh, shear line is not clear. But now how does it work uh, to activate the cam? When I stick in the key and let's assume there is no key from the other side inserted um, this actuator moves out a little bit and now only half of this nose interacts with the plug and the other half of this uh, left side piece can now interact with the cam with these cutouts. So let's do that. Uh, keys again outside a little bit, now I move it in and now the cam and the plug are locked and when I turn the plug also the cam turns and I can manage to hold this. Um, the other side, so the right hand side of this actuator is not uh, connected and so I can turn the left side plug without interfering with the right side plug, oops, the right side plug where the shear line is not clear. So that's the way um, this works simple and clever mechanism. Yeah, that's basically everything I wanted to show you. I hope you have enjoyed this little excursion uh, into the uh, cam mechanism of this uh, Ural cylinder. Yeah, hope you have uh, had fun watching this video. Happy picking, cheers and bye bye! Quick addendum because I forgot to show you how it works that you can turn the cam with a thin a flat object from the picked side when on the other side a key is inserted. Let's quickly reassemble the lock without the cam so that you can see how it looks like. So that's the situation with the key inserted on the left side and you can see where the um, space is, that's the, that's the place where the uh, cam would sit in. And so by turning the left plug uh, the cam is, is taken along and the right side can spin freely without interacting with the cam. So it would look like this. Cam and right side, the, the picked side, is not interacting and the cam is interacting with this, um, with this actuator and uh, would turn the left plug, respectively the left plug would turn the cam. So now can, how can you um, operate the cam from, from this side? If you stick something in which goes inside the keyway and there is a little slot here you can see, if you manage to um, reach one of these cutouts in the cam, then you can turn the cam. So let's try that. As you can see now I've sticked in my extra long pick and I reached through one of these cutouts in the in the cam and now I can turn the plug and 
the cam is also turned. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, understood what I what I meant. Yeah, that's the way how you can turn the cam. All right, that's it. Thanks and bye bye. Quick addendum too, because I want to show you how it looks like if there is no key on the other side. So now let's assume we have picked this side and there is no key on on that side, and the cam is currently not connected to the plug that we have just picked. Looks like this, and we just need to stick something in the keyway in order to get the plug and the cam connected. So you can see the cutouts now are filled with the noses of the other uh, half of this actuator and now cam and plug are connected. So much easier. Alright, bye bye.